Hello and welcome to the William Hill preview of the McCoys Premier League darts. Last week in Brighton, another great night. Phil Taylor really giving Gary Anderson a roasting as he has done with most people. And last weekend at the tour event in Reading, another two nine darters, over 110 averages. So look out for Taylor to win this Premier League this year. That's where my money would be. Last week also in uh, Brighton, Kevin Painter beat Andy Hamilton, and what Painter is doing is taking advantage of his opponent's mistakes. Andy Hamilton, again, is one point in the last six, and he would feel that he should have had all six. He's missing doubles at crucial times and being punished, and that's what happens in this Premier League. Simon Whitlock beat the world champion, Aidy Lewis, 8-4, and I have to say, Lewis looking very lacklustre, missing too many doubles as he did in Reading the weekend, so he's really going to have to step up to the plate if he's going to make the top four. Whitlock, on the other hand, looks pretty sound. He really has got a strong throw at the moment, moving forward as the action goes, and I'll tell you what, he's my bet for a top four place at the moment. Raymond van Barneveld is coming back in some form, but he walked into a real on-form James Wade. Three ton-plus finishes with the 1-5-4 coming at an absolute crucial time against the big Dutchman. But Barney just missing a few trebles in the early part of the legs, and that's where he's got to snap it up a little bit. But Wade back to some form that made him a champion in this Premier League. Well, this week we travel to Glasgow and it's going to be a real partisan crowd, always very noisy, so the players are going to have to use plenty of concentration. It's going to be a fine night, and before I go through the players, back the nine darter, Phil Taylor. As I said, two nine darters of the weekend. Over 110 averages nearly every game he's playing at the moment. He's playing better than I've ever seen him before. He's more consistent, believe it or not. So that nine darter, I believe, is going to go this Thursday. Well, first game of the night, James Wade against the reigning world champion, A.D. Lewis. And there isn't a lot of love lost between these two. They really are going to go hammer and tongs. James Wade hasn't won that world championship, and A.D. Lewis keeps telling him that. It really could go any way, this one. A.D. Lewis is missing doubles at the moment, and he's starting to talk about missing those doubles, which he shouldn't do. But James Wade, after the last week, will be coming into this game with confidence, especially on his checkouts. So Lewis must not give him shots. Really don't know how this one's going to go. I think it's going to be a draw, and I'm going to stick with that. Well, second game of the night, Gary Anderson, the local boy, takes on Simon Whitlock. Whitlock coming into some real good form at the moment. Anderson got a good hiding from Phil Taylor last week. Not scoring, not hitting the doubles when he had the chance. And again this week, if he doesn't do that, he's going to lose to Simon Whitlock. It really is going to be a close one because you can never know what Gary Anderson turns up. But I've got to go on the form, and that is with Simon Whitlock. Well, the next game of the night sees the power. Phil Taylor take on the hammer, Andy Hamilton. Andy Hamilton, I call him the street fighter. He'll never give up. He's getting himself in some good positions and he's not taking them. He's been missing a few double crucial times, especially against Barnvelt a couple of weeks ago. But he's up against a man who is absolutely flying, absolutely at the top of his game. And I can only see a Phil Taylor win and a very convincing one at that. Well, last game of the night sees Raymond Van Barneveld take on Kevin Painter and certainly the Scottish crowd will be on Barney's side against the Englishman, the artist. Kevin Painter, been really playing well, but he's taken out them shots out. The 86s, the 92s, that's what's been keeping him in the mix. But Barney is coming back with some form. He really is talking the right game. He's not given up. Talked to him the weekend and watched a lot of his games. He was down in a lot of them and come back and won. So a different Barney's going to be turning up. And I can't see anything but a Barney win here. But he does tend to dip in the middle part of the game. That's where Kevin Payton has got to take his chances. And if he does, he may be in the mix come the end of the game. But on form, I'm going to take the big Dutchman. Well, Phil Taylor now 8-13 to from 4-5 to to become the McCoy's Premier League champion. Gary Anderson and Simon Whitlock, they've both moved out of point. But the value, as I've said a couple of times, has got to be with Raymond Van Barneveld. I think he's going to make those semi-finals, and by May, he will be on a good bit of form. So my value bet for the Premier League champion is Raymond Van Barneveld. Well, if we're looking for a, a few lively bets, one bet that comes to mind, Gary Anderson plays Simon Whitlock. I think he's going to have the most 180s in that match. Both heavy scorers... Both on a good bit of form, especially Whitlock, so I think there's going to be plenty of treble 20s in that game. Well, if you're looking for the highest checkout of the night, 
I'm going to go with James Wade against A.D. Lewis. James Wade coming back to some form, as I said. Although Lewis is missing doubles, when a player starts to miss two, three darts at a double, normally he will turn up and take a big checkout out. So that first match, that's where the highest checkout's going to come for me. Well, I'm Rod Harrington, and this has been the William Hill Preview for Glasgow this Thursday of the McCoys Premier League darts. For all other bets, go to williamhill.com, the official betting partner of the Premier League.